The football experts disagree, tabbing the AFL's Chiefs as 13-point underdogs. I think it's just that, oh, that's the American Football League. Last year when the Jets won, beat Baltimore, that was a fluke. We were the stupid stepchild of professional football, but not ready for prime time players. We resented that. So that was a motivating factor to us because we didn't know too much about the Minnesota Vikings. And uh, fortunately, they didn't know too much about us. We've got a myriad of formations. We've got formations that you start out in one thing, you're completely different before the ball snap. You'll go through three separate formations in one series. And if you're not watching that every day, it gets extremely confusing. And they've got one week to figure out the tendencies of the Kansas City Chiefs, which is a virtual impossibility. But the running backs, if we put things together, we'll kill these guys. Graham added to Minnesota's confusion with a surprise play call that yielded maximum results. Gloucester, tell him 65 toss power yeah. trap. Get in there for 65 toss power trap. Running play coming to Garrett on a trap. Touchdown. Garrett scores with a ball. Was it there, boys? Was that there, Rats? Oh, nice going, ball. baby. <laughs> yeah. The mentor. 65 toss power trap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that baby was there. Yes, sir, boys. <laughs> Woo! We're leading now 16 to nothing, and they got to overcome that against our defense. No way. Put your hand over your heart, and you can feel it pound out. What a moment for all of the Kansas City Chiefs. They're beating the best that the NFL has to offer out here today. In the last game ever played between the AFL and NFL, the exclamation point to the Chiefs' dominance was added by Otis Taylor. What we did was, I went on a quick count, and we just happened to get lucky. They had an all-out blitz coming, which they generally didn't, they blitzed very seldom. I hit Otis Taylor with a little hitch pass. That was the only pass I could have gotten rid of. The score clinched Kansas City's victory in Super Bowl IV and turned Len Dawson's nightmare of gambling rumors into a lifelong dream come true. I thought it entirely fitting that he got the uh, Super Bowl MVP. When Lenny went through the year that he went through and the triumph that he had, it's one of the great stories in professional sports.